I'm Anirudh Krishna. I'm a professor of public policy and political science. I'm a co-editor of this book and I also have a chapter on urbanization and social mobility. Urbanization and industrialization helped create the middle class in the West. But unfortunately, the same processes aren't producing as much social mobility in the global south. Today's robotized industrial processes require fewer people, and those they require are people with engineering degrees, not high school diplomas, which reduces the chance that the same kind of middle class production will happen in the global south. When the West industrialized, its population still hadn't quite exploded. It was exploding at around the same time. But the population growth in the global south has happened and continues to happen even as industrialization is lagging behind. Where a thousand people need jobs, a hundred jobs could have been produced if the old industrial processes had been followed, but instead five jobs are being produced now. You have a thousand people chasing jobs, you have five jobs available, what's going to happen to the rest and how can their prospects for a better life be improved? One of the bigger recommendations we have is about progressively formalizing the informal sector. That informal sector employs more than 70% of people in many, many countries in the developing world. The prospects of moving up in life are so small as to be infinitesimal, adding healthcare, adding pensions, reduces the risk and the vulnerability of falling into poverty, thereby giving people more impetus to take risks and move forward. What UNI Water can do to set the agenda to inspire research that can help us understand this complex issue.